have been uh, instrumental when the war ended in rehabilitating LTTE mindset. Now, if you take LTTE mindset, it is one of the worst things that could have happened to a human being. So that will change and you have seen positive results. Now that is a, a reset you have done in, in the minds of those people. How can we do this internationally, locally? Yeah. <laughs> This once again, this is all this you know, branding and all, as Suresh said, these are things, very good things. But only thing, basically, we got to understand the reality where we are right now. In the military, when we are given, when everybody fails, it comes to us. Therefore, we are always ready. Academics and businessmen, lawyers, everybody, human rights, everyone fail. It comes on the soldier's uh, shoulder. So actually, <clears throat> here we, we basically we resort into uh, basics. That is where we start. We start basic. Where are we right now? How did we come to this position? Where we want to go? And how we are going to go? These are the four fundamentals that we work on as a soldier. Here is in Sri Lanka also. We are talking so much and we have the best, as Suresh say, we have the best tea, best mm. rubber, best everything, best whatever we have grown here, it is the best. I am the uh, secretary of the Ministry of Industry, thousands and thousands of industries here. And everyone is producing super things, but there is no system to market it properly. There is no system to uh, uh, bring, uh, uh, build the brand. The tea brand has gone down now. We were top exporters today. We earn only 1.4 billion uh, dollars only. But, but it is not. We, there is a capacity of even earning 10 billion uh, if you try uh, do it properly. So it is not happening because this there is no proper system here. There is no proper plan. That is where the military, the, all this militarization and all that people are talking. Military is the only organization in this country has a plan and we work on the from the recruitment to retirement, after retirement, looking after. Military is the only organization looking after. I have been working in civil organization now. The biggest problem I have is that because there is no system. Structure. All ad hoc. All ad hoc. So, you have to transform from ad hoc to strategy. That's, there is no other shortcuts in this one. When we were given the task of uh, winning the war or the taking, when it became so bad and the military was handed over, we went and we have been trying to do it, but we, with various governments we couldn't. But the, when we got the right leadership, we presented it, we finished. We were given five years, within uh, two and a half years we achieved. Then after that, achievement actually, rehabilitation, as you asked the question, rehabilitation was not one part, it's the whole thing. We, we started initially, trans, I mean, winning the war is not physical war. It has two parts, I always say, physical elimination of the threat and psychological elimination of the threat. We, when we plan in the military, we plan full, full spectrum, we take it and we plan it. And the end results we look at. So these are people who are being <coughs> taken into terrorism. These are innocent people. They have been made the worst terrorists in the world. Our objective was fighting the war and after that getting them back to the society as uh, disciplined people in the society. So we had uh, the rehabilitation system. We did it and first we go and understand, identify the problem. Then, then, then the real reality, ground reality. Then we go the expectation. In the country, we have a lot of expectations. Individually, as a country, as an organization, we have expectations without understanding the reality. We think we are living in United States, so we compare with Israel, we mm. compare with that country, Singapore, and all the countries. But they, we don't understand the their reality and our reality. And the, <clears throat> the, so this is where we are going wrong. So, as a soldier, we we always look at things. And one the mindset change. Mindset change by it's telling, b b blaming people. No, that's also you have to go resort back into basics. There are four. If you give me one minute, I'll tell you there are four elements, madam. Please uh, excuse me. <laughs> Being academics here on one side and talking like this, well, but there are four elements. And when we had to fight the war, we went and I. But how to solve this issue? In order to do that, we got to educate. Everyone is saying educate in the society. So <clears throat> before this uh, even organic thing, we got to educate the people first. Then the system had to be developed and strategize it and get it to the people. And without it, people always resist. So one thing I think, when we wanted to win the war, first thing we developed the concept, we developed the strategy and all that. Then we started educating people. There are four factors mainly that we have to look into try and transform in the mindset the education then comes the uh, religion then comes the uh, art the aesthetic uh, things so and the communication 
the three things first i told you that psychological spiritual and vocational these three things has to be synchronized then <coughs> communicate it nicely so this is how it has to be so when we want to launch the final row we developed the concept educated the public and we got <coughs> through various means then the values from the religion you got and when we have that is why we said humanitarian operation you have to have the value give that value portion into it then you <coughs> It basically doing it, you go to nicely do it and people... Mm, that so, brings in results. Yeah, then you go to maintain it, maintain it co through communication. The communication has to be very important as a one of the basic fundamentals. Mm -hmm.